52 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this rounded navbar by just using html css and javascript so now here you can see we have this plus icon right here and if i just click on that so here you can see it will now open this rounded navigation right here we have this home and we have all of these sections right here okay so if i just click on that so here you can see it will now make it disappear if i just click on it so it will now open it right here okay so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right our coder and write our code first of all we have to create our folder so i'm going to give a name of like 052 okay and now i'm going to just uh, give a name of like rounded nav bar so inside this folder we have to create three files so i'm going to just write like index.html and the second file we will create is style.css and the third file we are going to be creating is app.js for javascript all right so that's that now let me just zoom in a bit so that we can focus on our code all right so now let's just change this one to like rounded nav bar okay now let's just link it with our css and also with our javascript okay so now let me just collapse my metadata from here now we are good to go so the first thing i would do is i'll go to my cdn.com and, and i'll just search for a font awesome so now let me just grab that so on come on on awesome all right so then i'll just click on this uh copy link tag now i'm going to copy it and here i'll just paste it underneath this title so now let's just save it and now we are good to go so here for html we are going to be writing like a div with the class of navbar and then wrapper okay so wrapper inside this wrapper we are going to be writing a class of navbar and inside this navbar we are going to be just writing our anchor tag which will go to nowhere but also we will give a class of nav bar and then link okay so this will be our nav bar link and inside that we are going to be using our font awesome so i'll just write i with the class of fas and then fa dash home so now let me just save this file and now let's just right click on it and open it with a live server so that we can have this file on our live server so the first one we have is this home right here which is coming from the font awesome all right so that was cool the next thing which you have to do is to duplicate this anchor tag so the first one we have is a home and not just an anchor tag but also yeah i guess the anchor tag would be fine so the first one we have is a home then we have city school and landmark hotel and store also now let me just change the links of them so the first one is home city and now the third one will be just school and now this one will be learn mock and now this one will be hotel and now the final one will be just store and then alt okay and now underneath this div we are going to be writing our own div which will be just a nav bar button so i'll just create a div with a class of nav bar and then btn for button inside there we are going to be using a font awesome with a class of fas fa plus and then once we save it and this is how it looks like right here so now we are getting all of these icons right here with this plus icon as well so now let's jump right into our css and now let's just format that a bit the first thing i would do is i'll just remove that margin and also that padding as well and now i'm going to select this html and then just write a font size of just like 62.5 percent save it and it will now show up like that all right so that's there now the next thing which you have to do is to select navbar wrapper so now let me just get there and now let's just select one navbar wrapper so the width will be 100 percent the height will be 100 vh okay and now the background color will be eccc and 68 okay so that's that kind of yellow color display will be flex and justify content will be center align items will be also center save it and this is how it looks like so everything is now center and this is their background color okay so now let's just get our navbar right here now let me get this navbar so the width will be just 20 rem duplicate and the height will be also 20 rem and the background color will be just like um uh, this fd7 7272 yeah i guess that would be fine like a crimson kind of color like that then now the next thing which i'm going to do is just put a position of relative to it display will be totally flex justify corner will be center align items will be center border radius will be 50 percent 
and then transform will be just like scale it to zero and then rotate it with like minus 180 180 degrees and also now let me just write it or transition of transform of 0 0.5 seconds and then box shadow will be just like zero then three pixel and six pixel and then rgba and then 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.16 alpha transparency then we have to just write a comma then zero and three pixel and then also six pixel as well and then rgba and zero 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 and 0 0.23 of our transparency so now once we save it and this is how it's going to be look like so it'll now look like this one so now once we save it and now let's just check it so it will be gone because we provided a scale of zero to it so that's why so once we uncomment it i mean like comment it and save it and this is how it looks like and now if we uncomment it and save it and it will be gone for now right here okay the next thing that you have to do is to write a class for javascript like change and then i'm going to just write like nav bar right here and now let's just write a transform of scale of one and also rotation will be zero okay so this will be the change class we cannot see it right away and now the next thing which we have to do is um just get our anchor tag right here and this like nav bar link let me just copy that and write this nav bar link right here position will be totally absolute save it and we can all see something so you know what i'm going to comment this line of code for now Okay, so now everything is absolute right here. Okay, now let's just get or um, this I tag right here. So for that, we are going to be just writing like never link and then just select for I right there. And let's just write a font size of 2.5 rems and then color will be totally white. And then transition will be color uh, and also 0 0.3 seconds. So once we save it, and now everything is wired but we cannot see it clearly so you know what i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna comment this absolute one and now we can see them so now the next thing which i'm gonna do is i'm gonna provide a hover uh, effect on them so now let's select for nav link and then just write a hover on anchor one okay so now here we can just change the color to like two 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 seven and once we hover over it so here you can see the color is changing to these one all right so that's there now the next thing which i'm going to do is to just select the end child of uh, first one and now let's just write like the top will be two rims and now let me duplicate a few times so this one will be first one second one third one fourth one fifth one and sixth one all right so now let's just change the property of them so the uh, second one will be let me just change it to second top will be um instead of two i'm going to just change it to six rim and right will be two rims Okay, so then we have the third one let me get the third one and the top will be not top but the bottom will be six rem and right will be two rims okay and let me hit a space in there so that we can see them on github a bit clearly so then we have to just write our fourth one so now let me get our fourth one and then just change this bottom to this two pixel that's going to be fine then we have to just select our fifth one and the bottom will be just six rim let me just write six rim and left will be two rims okay and then finally we have a sixth one so now let me get this one so six and now the top will be like six rim and left will be two rims okay and by the way so we selected a wrong one it shouldn't have to be just a neighbor it should have to be let me just select all of them duplicate it duplicate 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 these and it should have to be a navbar link okay not just a navbar so once we save it so now let's just change that to link and now also let's get our absolute position so now let me uncomment that save it and this is how it looks like right here okay so we have to also uncomment this line uh, you know what we are not going to uncomment it right now okay so that's there now the next thing which we have to do is to get our navbar button so did we provide a navbar button yeah we did which is right here so this is now about button let me get there and also let's just tile there so i want to just write a position of absolute on them width will be just six rem and also height will be six rem and it will be their plus button which is at the middle of this one and then the background will be just like a four a six nine let me get a nine 
bd okay so this will be the color display will be flex and justify counter will be center and align items will also be center and border radius will be just a 50 percent cursor will be pointer now let's just add this box shadow box shadow like zero and then three pixels and six pixels and then rgba zero 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 and then finally alpha transparency will be 0 0.16 comma and now let's just add zero three pixels three pixels and then six pixels and now let's just write rgba of zero 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 and zero point two three so save it and this is how the button will look like right now but now we have to center that right here i guess we messed it up in html i'm going to copy this text and paste it underneath this tab and inside this um what do we call it this navbar wrapper so once we save it and it's it will be now perfectly centered right here okay so that's that so now let's just select this anchor tag i mean like this i tag which is inside this navbar button so now let's just select that so i'm going to just write like navbar button and then just select for i and then font size will be just two rims color will be totally white and then transition i'm going to provide like transform of 0 0.5 seconds okay so save it all right so this is how it looks like right now and now let's just write a color i mean like now let's just write a class for a javascript so i'm going to just write a change and then navbar and then btn and now let's just get our i so transform will be rotate on 45 degrees okay so save it it will not work right now so this is how it looks like so you know what i'm gonna uncomment this uh 180 degrees save it so now here you can see we have this button right here so now let's generate to a javascript so once we click on this one so we want to just change this uh property and also want to add this change classes okay so just jump right into a javascript and now the first thing i would do is i'll just select that um query selector first of all query selector and now let's just get our navbar navbar and then btn and now let's just add event listener on the end so let me just add a click event on it and here we just have to pass this function right here okay so whenever we click on the button so we want to just write like document.query selector of this navbar wrapper and we want to just a toggle um just to change class on it so once we save it so if you click on it so here you can see it will now toggle and untoggle these classes right here we didn't provide any transition let me just check like i guess we pour a transition property on that you know what i'm gonna add um what do we call it let me just add a transition property in here you already uh, write a transition property but if i just write like transition of like um for all of the thing one second would be fine and if you click on there so now it's a bit smooth so if i just click on that so now this transition is a bit smooth all right so this is how it looks like right here okay so now let me just zoom in a bit and if i click on this button and this is how it looks like all right so this is what i want to show you in this project so we are done with our project so now the next thing i want to tell you like if you guys don't know about get and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into our next project but if you already know get and github and want to push your code into your github repository so for that i'm going to write a few commands right here so we are get status at the 52 get add everything get commit of a rounded nav bar and now hit enter get push it to origin main and now we are done with the github stuff as well so now let's just go to our browser and refresh it and now we will should see our rounded nav bar right here and now we, here you can see we have this html code and now here we can see we have this javascript code and we have this style.css code right here all right so i guess that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye Thank you.